Well guys, 2015 minutes later of a decontamination wash of my 2017 F-150 and the results are insane. Check this out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And today we're gonna go over a decontamination car wash for my 2017 F-150. So the real question is, do decontaminations work? Let's jump right into it. This is my 2017 F-150. I've had this baby for three years and the lease is actually done. So I want to do a decontamination car wash. I have replaced this F-150 with a Jeep Gladiator. But as you can see, this is very dirty. I got my Jeep Gladiator about two months ago and ever since then I haven't used my F-150 and it's just been parked right back there under some trees. So if you can see right here, it is extremely dirty and this is caked on. It feels like sandpaper. So what I'm gonna do for you guys is tape off half the hood, do a complete decontamination wash on this and then see the results. Now guys, you're not gonna wanna fast forward through this video. This video is gonna be a step-by-step -step on how to decon your car and actually show you what happens in between each step. But also, before we jump into that, I have an August giveaway that's ending in one week. So be sure you check out that video below so you can see how to enter. I'm giving away a $150 OmniWall Power Tool Organization Set. So check that out. So let's get some before photos quick so we can see the actual dirt and grime that's built up on the car. It is a bright and early 7.20 in the morning here because it's gonna be about 90 degrees today and I wanna get this done so I don't melt away. I don't know if you can see this, but look how caked on all of this is. Yeah, this is gonna be very satisfying to see. I can't believe how nasty this stuff gets. Oh, you can hear it. Oi, so this is gonna be great. So I'm lucky enough to have this room on the side of my garage here where I can keep all my detailing products. But today we're gonna be using some wash buckets, some Obsessed Garage Decontamination Soap, Iron X from CarPro, Tar X, and Nano Skin. And then I'm gonna finish off with some Adam's Car Shampoo. And of course, the Amazon Alexa to listen to some music. The truck is all taped off. Last time I did a decon car wash was on my Mach 4 R32 VW and the paint was so smooth afterwards. So first off we're gonna do is we're going to just give the car a nice water rinse off and with that I'm gonna use my car uh, pressure washer uh, and my wand, Mosmetic wand there. And I'm just gonna wet down the car and then we're just gonna jump off into the decontamination soap by Obsessed Garage. So, let's jump in. All right guys, step one is done. We have thoroughly pressure washed the car, uh, rinsing it to get rid of that dirt and grime. That way when you use your wash mitt later, you won't pick up that dirt and grime and uh, scratch your paint. Step two, we are gonna get the foam cannon ready with some decon soap, and I'm gonna put five ounces of decon soap in the foam cannon, and we're gonna foam this baby down. So foam cannon is all the way done now. I have soaked the car down with the decon soap, and now I am just gonna wait until it all really falls off the car, cause why not? And then I'm gonna do the two bucket method. We got the wash bucket and the rinse bucket. Um, I'm gonna start off with a couple ounces of uh, decon soap on the wash mitt. Um, first I'm gonna wet the wash mitt, then put a couple ounces on. And then I'm gonna wipe down the car. Be sure you wipe basically half a panel and then rinse the actual uh, mitt because the car is super grimy at least that's what I'm gonna do in this car It all depends on how grimy your car is. So let's get wash mitting Alright guys 
okay so the sun is coming out and it's here to say no more clouds in the sky so i gotta speed this up the decon hand wash is now done now let's rinse off all the soap and start the next process so this is how we end up with my bald head and that sun, I'm sweating quite a bit now, but the rinsing is done. Now on to the next step, which is going to be the Iron X. Uh, normally this is visually satisfying because you can see all the iron coming off the car, um, but this is a black car, so I don't think we'll be able to see that. So what I'm gonna do is spray one side of the car, uh, wait maybe five minutes, five, 10 minutes before it dries and then rinse it off. Because the sun is out, I don't want this stuff to dry. So here it is, the INX. I'm gonna spray this side uh, and then rinse it off. Guys, INX process is done, car is all rinsed off. The next thing I am going to do is uh, tar X. So what tar X does is obviously what it says, remove tar. You spray this on where you think there will be tar or is tar and wait three to five minutes, then wipe it off and then rinse it off. So I'm just gonna hit the whole front bumper and behind each wheels and then wipe it off. Well guys, tar X is done. That's a quick and simple process. Uh, some tar came off there, but now we're on to claying the car. So I'm gonna be using this Nano Glide. Uh, it's diluted, it's already diluted. Read instructions. And then I'm gonna use this uh, fake clay bar. Um, and I'm gonna do panel by panel. I'm not gonna spray the Nano Glide all over the place. And then I'm actually gonna rinse this. So I've got my rinse bucket with me. Make sure when you do a panel, rinse it and then do it again. So we're gonna do that. The whole car, it's getting hot, but this is gonna turn out great. So let's jump into it. All right, so an hour and a half later, I'm pleased to say the decon is done. Just the decon. Now, because we use a lot of harsh chemicals, what I like to do when I decon is now just go and wash the car with Adam's car soap. I'm not polishing the car. The next step would be, in my opinion, Adam's car wash, then you can polish. But right now, I'm sure there's areas I missed in the rinse. So I'm gonna foam can on this with Adam's soap and then do another hand wash uh, with a mitt, a different mitt, and then do another rinse. So let's jump into that to remove all those harsh chemicals we may have left behind. All foamed up, new mitt, ready to go. It's nearly done, guys, nearly done. Wait until you see the final result. It's gonna blow your mind. Well, the sun gave me a little break, so that's great. I just finished the second to last step on the decon wash, which was the Aunt Adam's soap and uh, then I just did a wash mitt uh, and cleaned it. Now I'm gonna rinse it off and then for the final step, some bead maker. This is completely rinsed now. This truck is clean as can be, except for that one little area that we're gonna reveal in a bit. So now I am going to hand dry the truck and then apply some bead maker. But guys, I think the before and after right here is going to be crazy. It looks like it's a little wet under the tape. I think that might be condensation, but either way, I think it will be as sandpapery. Oh my goodness, this feels so smooth. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get drying and then bead maker. Right, guys two hours and 15 minutes later the car is done fully deconned Adam soap then uh, some bead maker as the finale and it looks like a brand new truck kind of want to keep it um, but now 
for the tape reveal. What I'm actually gonna do is remove the tape and let this dry before I show you guys. So, let me get to that. I just wanna climb on top of a hill and throw it all away, away. Take me far away before my mind spins off and I am all derailed, derailed. Just die. Well guys, 2 hours and 15 minutes later of a decontamination wash of my 2017 F-150 and the results are insane. Check this out. Would you look at that? I don't even know if it comes out on camera that well but it has to. Look, there we go. Oh my goodness, that's how the truck was two months well it spent its life outside and I've never deconned but two months under a tree as well just look at that look at this Hot. <laughs> crazy so guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you can see how beneficial a decon car wash is Obviously mine is to the extreme, but look at this. You can see my skinny reflection. It's just the, uh, you know, those contour mirrors that make me look big. <laughs> Anyways, thanks a lot for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to enter in the August giveaway. So until next time, guys, I'll see you then.